YouTube! What the fuck is good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. I don't know what order I'm uploading these reactions this fucking week because I'm already late as it is. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say this once again uh, in each of these reactions because I don't know what order these are going up in until I fucking decide. Yeah, been a little sick for the past week. That's why we're getting late to the reactions. Got a little sore throat still. You can probably hear it. You know what I'm saying? Sorry for my ugly ass fucking voice. You're gonna have to deal with it. Look at this. I'm holding my mic. Yeah, I broke my mic arm. It sucks. Whatever. You know. I mean, I had this. I had this shit for like 10 years, so it lasted a while without like fucking like keeping up with it. You know what I'm saying? Like literally just using it for 10 years, and and I never lubed it up with WD-40 or nothing, and then I just fucking broke it you know what i'm saying 10 years is it's pretty good man it's pretty fucking good if you ask me uh but yeah that's the situation it's been an interesting week i've been fucking sick broke my mic arm and so that is why we're in this situation that we are in right now but yeah i just want to preface that real quick i'm probably gonna do that for each reaction because like i said i don't know which order i'm uploading these in uh we just got done watching ninja kamui uh and we're getting into kaiju number eight episode two right now and then we're gonna watch some One Piece down yonder. Okay, uh, Kaiju number eight, episode two. The first episode was a great premiere. I fucking loved it, and I have a feeling that this show is gonna be a lot of fun. And I think the first episode was like a perfect encapsulation of what the fuck we're gonna get into in this world with Kaiju. And uh, really gave us a base understanding of what the fuck is going on. So we got Kaiju, which, that's in the fucking title of the show. Kaiju are the monsters. There was one other monster that came up later, which, you know, was the one that fucked up our, our main character. I can't remember. What's, what's our name? Fucking character's name right now? I can't. Bro. I want to say, like, Kafiki. Kafiki. Ko Kofiki. Bro, something like that. I can't fucking remember. Anyways, some other fucking monster came and attacked him and the, the, the new guy. That was a part of uh, that like just started working with his like crew like the cleanup crew and they called that monster something different i want to say it was yoju so we already got a little bit of a something there that like maybe we get some more clarification on and like learn more about the world as the show goes on i'm sure um but that was one thing i noticed last episode i think there was two different at least that we have know of so far there's two different types of monsters kaiju and yoju that's what we know so far and then there's also two different groups of people that sort of combat or deal with these monsters in different ways. We have the Defense Force, which is the main group of people that actually attacks and deals with these monsters. And then we have the Cleanup Crew, which literally, that's exactly what they fucking do, is they just clean up the corpses and dispose of them, you know, however they have to. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, it's these are giant monsters with just fucking guts and organs everywhere after the fucking defense force is done fucking with them. And the fucking shit's gotta go somewhere. Someone's gotta clean it up. So that's where our boy, the main character, comes in and the cleanup crew. He's a part of them. He wanted to join the defense force. Isn't living up to those expectations. Whereas his counterpart, his childhood friend, is this Captain... Ashiro, I think I was pronouncing it Ashira the whole time last episode. I think I realized in my reaction when I edited it, but her name is Mina Ashiro, I think. And yeah, they're childhood friends, and she's like a fucking extreme badass, like, but like one of the top dogs it seems in the defense force, and like cannot be fucked with. And uh, yeah, she has sought out her dreams and has become a integral figure in that defense force whereas he has not kind of gave up on his dream and seems that maybe she kind of holds him like accountable for that like you know kind of is mad at him for giving up you know maybe or at least displeased with him because he promised that he would always be like beside her so we got all that in the first episode and then sure enough after he was injured and he was in the hospital the new, the new kid that was at first like calling him out on his bullshit and like him giving up and why he gave up and this and that, it kind of seemed like he was a snot-nosed brat at first, but he's actually one that's really hyping him up and making him believe in himself and continue to do so in the hospital where he's like, yo, look, you saved me. So that like revitalized the hype and like motivation in himself again. 
He was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking try again. You know what I'm saying? Because they just found out that the like age limit for defense force or whatever has been raised. So essentially, he has another chance, basically, which is dope for him. And then as that's as that conversation is happening, there's this fucking bug that's just in the room all of a sudden and is like, found you. Literally just infiltrates his fucking body through his literally through his fucking mouth. It was disgusting. And then all of a sudden, he looks like a fucking monster. He's a fucking kaiju. And that's what the title of the episode was, The Man Who Became a Kaiju. He seems conscious. He seems, you know, the same person, just in terms of the outside appearance. He looks exactly like a fucking kaiju. But his personality and everything seems intact. So this seems like this is the first occurrence of something like this. And I'm curious to see where it goes from here like obviously like okay so Ashiro just got a call in about this fucking kaiju because the old man called that shit in right away that shit was hilarious and so she's dispatching her you know members or whoever or herself to go take care of him but little does she know she doesn't know what she's walking in on so is he actually gonna have to keep on running for his fucking life for a long time and they're not gonna believe him in this like wild scenario or are they going to be pretty understanding pretty quickly and then, you know, like stuff moves in the direction pretty quickly where he becomes a part of the defense force as a kaiju? Because I'm assuming it's gonna, he's going to have some sort of like powers or he's just going to be stronger now, now that he's a kaiju. Like that's like the, you know, reward with also the risk that he just took. Not hit, I mean, he didn't choose it, but he just had a kaiju invade his fucking body. So I'm curious to see where this is going to go and, and, and uh, see his uh, his first steps after becoming a kaiju. Like, that, this, this is fucking crazy. That's where we're at with kaiju number eight so far. So I'm excited to get in this reaction. I'm excited to get in this episode, episode number two. So without further ado, let's do it. If you guys enjoy the reaction, please like down below. Comment, subscribe for new. Hit the notification bell so the next one's dropping. Let's get into it. Kaiju number eight, episode two. This is where we left off. Yeah, all I needed was somebody to believe in him for him to believe in himself again. The shit was hilarious, bro. He's like, what? Yeah, was this thing like looking for him? Specifically? Be interesting if he was. First time we're seeing the opening, I think. Okay. Fire, yo. That's a fire opening. I love that song. That was good. Kafka, that's the name. See, she, she, like, accepted that wholeheartedly, like, yo, thanks for the reassurance. <clears throat> but the fact that he's not with her now, I think that's why he, she, like, kind of holds animosity towards him in a certain way, like, yo, like, you, you lied to me. Like, you're supposed to be with me right now, bruh. The fuck is he gonna do? <laughs> That's not the type of smile we're looking for, bro. Holy shit, yeah, he's way stronger than he knows. <laughs> He tried to just open the window and he's bro. This is fucking comedy, bro. He has no idea how to control his power. Bro, if you just did that opening the window bro, look how far he's jumped ahead of the other guy. Oh, 
<laughs> the fuck is he doing? <laughs> Bro, I wasn't expecting this shit to be this funny. What the fuck? His nipples? <laughs> Dude, I don't fucking know, bro. I hope you figure it out. That's what it's seeming like. That's like the first thought is like they want to take you out because you're a kaiju now. But there's got to be some sort of discussion, right? Like, we don't have, like, this isn't a show, like, with the classic trope that there's a shit ton of brain deads walking around, right? Is he, is he able to sense other kaiju? He's gonna go fight that thing. No? Seemed like he was thinking about it. Oh, damn. Oh, this is fucking terrible. Someone hurry up! He's gonna come in. He's gonna come in and save her. Yeah! Ah! Damn! <laughs> <laughs> So I'm talking about, see, there's gonna be witnesses now. Oh, yo, this guy helped me. He saved my mom! Bro, his, the character design for him looks dope as fuck, bro. Damn! Oh, nah. He fucking obliterated that thing. Wow. Hey, yo, Kafki. You want badass motherfucker now, bro. That's all I was gonna say. Is he like accepting that he's gonna die? Like that was enough for him to save one person? Or is he just leaving? He's gonna figure it out on his own. Mmm. How willing is the defense force gonna be fucking willing to understand though? Like, I, I hope he doesn't have to be on the run for too long. <coughs> or like, we just, or they're just understanding quickly. Like, I don't want this to be like a misunderstanding for super long. Is he gonna is is it is it better is it better recede fully like is he gonna look normal completely in front of them? 
your your fucking childhood friend did that no, shit. That's that's, that's what happened, bro. Hurt the good kaiju. Wow. This is the first anyone has ever said anything like that. Same for her hearing a sentence like that. She's like, what? So that's how just the show gets its name. A hundred three? Is he cleaning up his own mess right now, bro? Nah, that's fucking crazy. Oh, he passed. Okay. So wait, he passed too? <laughs> why yeah, why is he just sitting out like this? <laughs> yeah, this show is fucking comedy. How long are they gonna be able to hide like this though? I feel like they should just fucking I mean eventually it's it's eventually gonna happen. Eventually he's not gonna be able to hide it and then <coughs> everyone will just be in the loop. <laughs> Alright, so since there's gonna be a shit ton of witnesses and shit, because like he said, there's gonna be a shit ton of officers. What is he gonna do? Oh, he's 32. Oh, wow. This is literally his last chance. <laughs> Bet that. That's good motivation, baby. <laughs> Friendly rivals. <laughs> Skip the exam. <laughs> you gotta get this under control though. Like, why is this so quick? Does he still does he still have no control of it whatsoever? Ten days later, so we're already fast forwarding to the second part of the exam. Well he had to learn something about his power and transformation within these ten days, right? I fucking hope so. Yeah, but we saw how strong he is. His defense is probably strong as fuck, too. Oh, shit. New characters. So, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I can't argue. What? <laughs> she about to just pick this bitch up. What the fuck? 
もうすぐ強いワンハンドンファクワハーブロードゥナファクワイディジュアフトトスライダーユクンジュセレダウンシパーティーはファキンライノブファミリーズムジェットナノブファミリーズムジェットナノブファミリーズムジェットナノブファミリーズムジェットナノブファミリーズムジェットナノブファミリーズムジェットナノブファミリーズムジェットナノブファミリーズムジェットナノブファミリーズムジェットナノブファミリーズムジェットアンドリュー、キシュウリュウキュウリュウキュウリュウキュウリュウキュウリュウキュウリュウキュウリュウキュウリュウキュウリュウキュウリュウキュウリュウキュウリュウキュウリュウキュウリュウキュウリュウキュウリュウキュウリュウキュウリュウキュウリュウキュウリュウキュウリュウキュウリュウキュウリュウキュウリュウキュ Certain shows, like once you're like early in on it, you know what I'm saying? Like it's gonna be good. Some shows take a little bit longer than others, you know. I'll, I'll give it, I'll give some shows that, you know, some shows you really gotta get a little bit deeper, you know, until it really, you know, gets good or grabs your attention. But this show is one of those shows that grabs your fucking attention by the balls right when you start that shit. And I fucking love that. The whole interesting aspect of like just the kaiju monsters in general. We're barely scratching the surface of what the Defense Force and uh, uh, people that are a part of the defen Defense Force are capable of. And that goes into like what weapons they use, whatever combat suits they're wearing.、Uh, clearly, like this girl, she has some sort of suit where she was just able to pick up a car easily. You know what I'm saying? I'm assuming that's thanks to the suit since it was glowing red and they mentioned it. Like, oh shit, what that, what's, what's, what's with that suit? And then, uh, I mean, yeah, she just looks like a normal human that doesn't look like she'd be able to lift up a fucking van with one hand. So it's g o t t o be the suit. And that's just one new character that we've been introduced to that we still know barely anything about besides her name that she introduced to us. And that she's pretty cocky and she is pretty fucking strong. So we still barely scratch the surface in a lot of things of the show. But that's what makes it interesting is just, you know, getting, getting it at a surface level and like wanting to know more about it. Like the Defense Force, all the ins and outs of the Defense Force, weapons, you know, what they're capable of individually, if there's, you know, people actually do have certain abilities, or if it really just is all like weapons and armors, you know, that makes them capable or whatever. The kaiju, like the different types of monsters and stuff. And then, in, you know, again, back to like individual aspects, our main character here, Kafka, his thing being, being a kaiju now. Which is just fucking insane. And he has to, you know, keep a low profile. Nobody knows about him yet. Well, at least that it's him. You know what I'm saying? But they know that this, like, kaiju is still around somewhere. And they need to take care of him, according to their knowledge. And that he's a threat. So they've declared him as kaiju number eight. That's what they are calling that kaiju, which is Kafka. And,、um, you know, are just. Telling everybody to keep, keep an eye out, and like, this is the first kaiju that's ever gotten away from the Defense Force, apparently, ever. So, this definitely seems like it's gonna be, you know, hard for him to be able to keep this low key. Like, I, I don't know how much longer he's gonna last where he can, like, succeed while also being low key. Like, there's just no way. You know what I'm saying? So, I hope. It's revealed sooner rather than later that he's a kaiju and that there's actually some sort of conversation done about it instead of just like blindly trying to kill the fucking man, like you know, a lot of animes do.、Uh, whenever there's you know, something goes awry with one person and then they just believe, like, oh my god, it's a kaiju, like, we have to fucking kill it. Like, no, this is a good kaiju, according to the girl that he saved and, his, and her mom. So I hope there's, you know, 
less like brain dead accusations and fucking, you know, um, the classic like the classic like panic that comes from something like this where ignorance feeds off of everybody's fears first. Like since they don't know anything about it, and this like this is the first time that anything like this happened, they're gonna first just completely doubt it, and of course try and kill him. That's like you know the presumption anyways. Uh, that even Kafka himself and his buddy, the the younger dude um, Ichikawa, hold you know are making themselves aware of as well. Like you know like if they if he turned into a kaiju right now, like they're assuming like yeah he'd be dead in seconds. So that's what's making me think like this is not gonna last much longer. Like you know what I'm saying, and that should be a good thing because he could be a very valuable asset to the defense force. I mean we saw how fucking strong he was this episode too. I mean he fucking took out that fucking kaiju in one punch. One punch obliterated the fucking thing. That's without him even knowing about what he can do yet, like to his full extent. Like he just tried to punch the hardest he could. That's all he did. Imagine what else he can do with that type of strength. Or like what else lies within that being a kaiju, like the way he is. Like maybe he can also be super fucking fast. Or I don't know, some, some crazy other shit. I don't know. But yeah, so far this is a great fucking watch. We see him, you know. Take out another kaiju himself for the first time. Save that little girl and, his, and her mom. Uh, somehow, you know, keep a low profile and uh, transform back to normal. It seems like he can transform, you know, back to his human form and then do the kaiju form. And then, yeah, both of them pass the first round of exams, which he usually does, but he always failed the second round, which seems like it's going to be more of a practical exam. Whereas it's not written or anything like that, it's going to be like, you know, combat exercises or obstacles, something like that. Because it seems like there's a lot of people that are also taking the second round of the exam. And this is where we're going to get introduced to a bunch of other new characters that we'll probably end up spending a lot of our time with within the show. So, uh, very exciting stuff. Looks like next episode we're going to see how this, you know, second round of exams plays out. That's where we're at. Yeah, another amazing episode of Kaiju No. 8. I really enjoyed that. This is going to be a fun fucking show to watch. I'm already loving it. And uh, this looks like it's going to be a really good ride. So, that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. If y'all did, please like down below. Comment, subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell so the next one's dropping. I'll see y'all in the next one. Y'all be good. Deuces.